Hey, Leo Drager here. I want to talk to you about VirusTotal. VirusTotal is just one of many websites that you can go to to submit any sort of file or executable or URL that you want analyzed, and uh, it'll basically determine if it's a virus or not. So we're going to test this out to see if you know what it identifies. So first, go ahead and uh, choose a file. Go ahead and grab. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab. something out of the ethical hacking toolkit here so we're gonna to go to viruses and worms uh, virus construction kits JPS virus maker uh, and grab JPS JPS upload that and then scan it it'll upload the file to compute the hash on it and that allows it to easily be compared to any other known file of the exact same integrity all right, so file already analyzed. This file was last analyzed by this uh, program on uh, 1225. It was first analyzed uh, in 2007, so it's been around that long. The detection ratio, 45, uh, 46 out of 52. You can take a look at the last analysis or do it again. So we'll just look at the last one for simplicity. So you can see it per computes an SHA-256 hash on it. Um, it identifies it as a backdoor. Uh, well, these are actually all of the actual names the antivirus vendors probably could reference, so it could come up as any single one of these. So basically, you can see that it's a, it's a backdoor or a Trojan. Um, uh, you also can see the different um, antivirus vendors on the left here. You know, the programs versus the specific virus in that program, and then, of course, the updates. The detail, the file, uh, where it comes from, the file version. So you can get pretty good specifics. Um, so you, the tool UPX can analyze this as well. So that's another uh, tool, command line tool that you could easily use here. Um, the names, the virtual addresses, MD5 hash, uh, hashes, uh, the different files that it actually is used or what they are called, the number of uh, physical resources by type, um, and some of the metadata. So you get the idea, right? Any sort of relationship to other hashes, any additional information. Most of these are just going to be hashes here. Um, not really too much you can, you know, learn about it. You know, that's not too, already too obvious. Okay, um, and so that's relatively it. That's virus total. It's a quick way to just grab a file and say, hmm, I wonder if this is malicious and, and has anybody else found it. So I would include that in my quick sanity check uh, of just, hey, you know, let's look at the obvious first. Okay, so you, this is just an easy web, a website that anybody can use. You know, everybody from grandma and grandpa, you know, down to a, a seven year old, I'm, I'm sure. So everybody should know that this exists uh, or websites like this. So that way, when you're analyzing code, hey, if somebody else has already done the hard work, you might be able to tap into that. The real tricky part comes in is when a website like this does not come anything. Uh, not give you any results and then you have to wonder okay am i in uncharted territory now so my name is leo Dreger. thank you for watching don't forget to check us out on facebook linkedin youtube and twitter